Hello and welcome to my video today. I'm going to be showing you how to strengthen the jack points that are on the Fisker Ocean. There are four jack points. They're located in the front and the rear on each side of the car to protect the battery pack when the car is being lifted for doing service such as rotating tires. What I'm going to be doing is inserting this putty inside of the hollow jack points to give them more rigidity so when you're lifting the car there's less chance of any problems with those jack points. So let's get started. So this is what we're going to be using epoxy putty. I bought two packages 16 ounces each, so two pounds. I figure it takes roughly around eight ounces per jack point, and I'll find out if that's accurate enough. At the end of the video, I'll let you know if two of these is enough to do the full car. So let's open up one of these and see what we have inside. We have two sets of plastic gloves, so when you are mixing the putty, your hands don't get too dirty. So here are the two containers. We have part A and part B in equal amounts, eight ounce containers. The instructions say measure equal amounts of part A and part B by weight. Mix A and B together. Twist the mixture until a uniform color is achieved and then start coating or casting. The operable time is about 45 minutes. Keep clear of water during curing. Let's stand for 24 hours. It mentions that the optimal temperature is around 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 C. And the epoxy putty is too sticky. You can dip some water on your hands. And then it mentions to smooth the surface after the construction. Apply a gentle pressure to get stronger stickiness. Epoxy can be sanded, painted, drilled after fully curing. So I'll be putting together roughly, I would say half this container of each of these. So roughly four ounces of each combined. Mix those up thor thoroughly. Then I'm gonna insert them into the jack point itself and as you can see here the jack point is hollow underneath so I'm gonna use something like a chopstick I happen to have one right here to poke the putty into the openings so what I'm gonna do is try to um, flatten them out or make thin tubes of them so that they can go into the openings and push them as far up in there as possible. It's roughly about two and a half inches deep to get to the top of the jack point. And then at the end, I'm gonna smooth out the surface so it's flat. So when I use something like a jack stand or jack point adapter or puck, lift puck as they're called, it will be nice and smooth underneath. All right, so I got about equal amounts of these. So what I'm gonna do now is mix them up. All right, so it's pretty well mixed together now. I'm going to separate these into smaller sections and I'm going to roll them out so that they're easier to fit into the 
openings of the jack points. So I'm going to flatten these out, six of these or so. All right, so I'm going to go underneath the car and insert them in. Going to use the toothpick to poke them all the way in. Let's see how it works. All right, so when you're uh, applying the putty in here, make sure you don't get any in the center hole because that's where the jack point uh, center column goes through. So you wanna leave that open and not get anything in there. Kind of push that out. And then try to get this area all around this as flat as possible so that when this fully dries, it's a good platform for the lift puck so i am going to just flatten that out and then i have plenty to do the next jack point another thing you can do when you're finishing up is to take one of the lift pucks and make sure it inserts fully into the opening and then press it down so that it will flatten the putty as best as you can. So I'm doing that right now and then looking this is pretty flat. All right, so there we go. I got two of the jack points done and it took uh, half a container. Well, actually it took half of two containers to do two of them. So basically a quarter of each container to do a jack point. One container should be enough to do all four of these jack points. So I'm gonna let this cure for 24 hours and see what it looks like when it's done. I definitely suggest using some black nitrile gloves like this. It makes it much easier to mix the epoxy putty. The included plastic gloves are kind of trashy. These hold up very well. I was able to install all four of the jack points using these gloves and no problems whatsoever. Oh, by the way, I had a little bit left over of the putty. It is rock hard after curing. So let's go out to the car right now and give you the conclusion. All right, it is now 24 hours after I installed the epoxy on all four of the jack points and they are all cured now and it's all ready to be used if I need to lift the car. Let me give you a close-up look at the ones on the left side of the car. Since I got better at doing it after a few times, here's what this one looks like. Not too bad. So one kit ended up being the perfect amount for use on all four of the jack points. Some suggestions after doing this, make sure you clean out the jack point, blow some air through it. Uh, if you use water on it, make sure it's thoroughly dry before you actually use the epoxy putty in there. If there is dirt in there, that may affect how it attaches. 
I wasn't uh, super careful with that, so mine was a little bit dirty. So I suggest uh, thoroughly cleaning out that jack point before you install it. The next thing is I would do one jack point at a time. So what I would do is divide each of these containers into four pieces, four equal pieces, then take one from each, combine them, thoroughly combine those two different epoxy components together so that it is consistent. It's gonna be like a black grayish color and then install it on each of those jack points. I also suggest breaking each one of those up into at least four sections so that you can make it easier for installation. So I would just uh, make them like noodle thickness and then you can push them up in there with that chopstick so you can get them up there as far as you can because it's about two inches deep or so. And then make sure you don't go over the edge and don't go inside the circle area where the actual jack lift puck needs to go into. You want to keep that circle area clean. But the other four areas, definitely fill that up to the edge. And I think it worked pretty well. So I'm gonna be testing it out uh, this weekend. I'm gonna to have to rotate my tires because I have a trip coming up and I wanna make sure that they're all set for that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.